So the flame, this works, is this? So we are here that cut on it? Yeah. And then, like we have the... Then it'll turn off eventually, or it will turn off instantly. It just started blowing. It just started. Yep. It won't even do that. So usually it doesn't do that. No. My family freeze at nighttime because it won't even work. Or it'll cut on like that, and then it'll get to like 70, and then it'll cut off. Got it. It will trip the breaker. How long have you been here for? About a month and a half. Oh, that's it, huh? Yeah. That's going to be our first problem is going to be this filter. I know you've only been here a month and a half, but this filter is real dirty. So it looks like we got a spare right here. So might be too small. Yeah, that's too small. Uh-uh. No, that's why I said I kept on for Not a low quality furnace for me however many years ago. Multiple stages of heat, but it's not really wired for it. So let's see if we can get it to kick on a little bit stronger. All right, so we got five microfarads on the run cap right there. We have this system right here, and on our thermostat, we have two wires coming from it. So they had it wired up. So anytime it would come on with these dip switches, it only run in first stage heat. So usually first stage heat is about two thirds output of second stage heat, depending on the system. Our wiring diagram that told us how to set our dip switches to make sure we kicked on in second stage heat. So we've changed that. Still not gonna be actively controlled from the thermostat, but that's better. We do have a, let's see if we can get a good video of this on here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to. Our blower wheel is pretty dirty. So we're gonna recommend the homeowner that they clean that, as is our return cavity. So what it tells us to do to check our code is remove. So it says if status code recall is needed, do not remove power or the blower door. Briefly remove and then reconnect one main limit wire to display stored status code. Three, one, two, three, four. So ignition failure, boom, easy. Now this thing does look pretty dirty. We'll clean it and see if it ignites properly. All right, so we got a clean flame sensor now. Let's get this thing back installed. go all right so this right here is plugged into our furnace circuit and our complaint is that the furnace is tripping the breaker pretty frequently so this right here the furnace should be on a dedicated circuit it's evidently not you start running stuff off this same circuit you run the risk of tripping the breaker so we need to get the electrician back out here probably and figure out how to put this back on, put it on its own circuit or put it on, tie it into a receptacle circuit or a light circuit or something, so. So the first thing was the furnace itself was not wired properly. It's been running in first stage for the life of its existence. Well, it's not a bad thing in terms of furnace wear and tear, but it's a bad thing in terms of heat output. So okay. I, I changed that. Okay. The second thing was the flame sensor. I cleaned the flame sensor. There is a problem with the electrical. As far as I can tell, it does not appear to be related to the actual furnace itself. But they have additional things wired into the same outlet as the furnace. That breaker is going to be sized for that furnace you by itself yeah it's the furnace the furnace is supposed to be on a dedicated circuit in addition to that the system the system itself is filthy there's no like filter grill or anything in it and so it's just been like sucking air around the furnace filter for the life of the furnace typical furnace life in san diego on a system like this is maybe like 30 35 years it's 23 it depends on what the homeowner wants i strongly recommend having us clean it the, the property manager, that guy, great guy. He's very easy to work with for me. 
one thing with property management is sometimes you're you don't realize but the you're dealing with a property manager they're all gung-ho about things but then the property owner comes in and they're trying to be all cheap and not do things properly so you get the property manager on board that's half the battle but sometimes the harder half is getting the the actual homeowner on board it can be a nightmare